Hey guys, um, in this tutorial I'm going to be making, I'm going to be showing you guys how to actually make a text box and a label show the date. And I'm going to show you how to make it show the date when you click a button. So let's get started. Most people have trouble actually showing the date in a text box, right? So I figured out how to do that and I'll show you guys how to do that. So, date tutorial. See, the reason why I got this idea for this tutorial is because I made a program called the Budget Tracker. It's a personal program, and I made it show the date in here. So then, when you press Add, then let's say I do groceries, 500 bucks, then personal, 23 bucks, and then let's say the next day, press Add, then continue on. It goes like that. Anyways, um, so yeah, let's start off with the text box. So, I'm going to add a text box in there, and then we're going to, I'll show you first how to make it appear when you first load the form, and then I'm going to show you how to make a button show the text. So, double click the form, and we're going to type in dim the date as date. Now we're going to actually... Um, apply something to that variable. So the date is equal to format bracket bracket now um, short date. Now we're gonna make it so that the text box shows the date. So text box the text equals the date. Now when you run your application, there it is. So basically what we're doing is we're dimming the date as a variable, which equals to date. And then we're grabbing that variable and we're declaring it to something. So it's equal to the format of the date now. So it gets the date of now, right? <laughs> then we're making it so that it shows in a text box. So text box one dot text is equal to the date. All right, now delete that. Now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna add a button. Just like that. And it's gonna say show date. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna double click that and we're gonna go um, Dim the date as date, the date equals format, um, date, uh, whoops, now, short date. Now we're going to make it so that the text works, we want the text to support the date. Simple as that. So when you press it, it shows the date. So instead of actually making it so that it shows the date when the form loads, you're making it so that it shows the date when you click the button. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to make it show with a label. So, label. And we're going to make this label say nothing. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go here and we're going to go label one dot text is equal to date dot now oh whoops that's under button click sorry guys under form load there's the date of course the little cut off because I have to extend the form there oh there we go but see now it shows the date now you may notice something the seconds are not going up well, it's not being updated with a timer. So basically, what we have to do is we go into our toolbox, we get the timer, then we're going to enable the timer to true. Then we're going to go under here, we're going to go label1.text equals date.now. We're going to go here and go timer1.start. Now, when the form loads, it starts the timer, and the timer goes up every second. Boom. Awesome, eh? <clears throat> so
so yeah that's a basic uh, tutorial on how to actually use the date it became useful to me so I thought maybe it would be useful for you guys well, anyways so that's a simple tutorial uh, I hope you guys like it if you have any questions just drop a comment alright thanks for watching people peace out